Play a little bit, Missy. There you go. Now we got you. Ready? Go. Hold on. Math. We are now doing math, chapter four, excuse me, chapter 12, lesson four. And this is going to be more practice on remembering to do regrouping. Very important. So, we're gonna show you how to do this practice. And just like from yesterday, we have different rhymes to help us remember. Um, more on the floor, go get one more. So we can't look at this in the ones column and say, well, I can't take eight from seven, so I'll just take seven from eight. We can't do that because that's not gonna work. So what we have to do is we have to remember that this is tens. So if it was money, I would say I have six $10 bills and seven $1 bills. And right here on this bottom number, I only have one $10 bill and eight $1 bills. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross that out and I'm gonna take one of those $10 bills, and so now I only have five. And then I'm gonna get that cashed out, so I have 10 ones. I'm gonna add that to the seven ones I already had, so I'm gonna have a total of 17 ones. Now I can take eight from 17, that'll work, no problem. So 17 take away eight, nine, that's right, that's our famous nine rule. Fun, fun, fun. And then this one is pretty easy too. Five take away one, four. Four. That's almost Good like a job. golf term. It is. So our answer is 49. Let's check that and see if that's right. You press it. Yeah. Anywhere. 49, so I got the right answer. So this is wonderful use my handy dandy eraser and then turn this over to my colleague all right guys for now if you for that um, challenge page we're going to do the same type of things but you're going to be subtracting into the hundreds I think today's page you guys are just doing the um, vocabulary page and doing it with hundred numbers but I'm going to show you what it would look like for tomorrow Again, we're asking ourselves here. We're gonna separate our columns. We have our ones column, we have our tens column, and we have our hundreds. That didn't go very dark there. It's okay. And we're gonna to go to our ones column. Remember, we always start in our ones column. So I'm gonna ask you, is the number on the top smaller, smaller than, than the, the bottom? On the bottom. Is the number smaller? Yeah, you can't. If you had six fingers, could you take nine from this? Nope, you can't. So you're going to go over to the tens column. I'm going to cross out that nine. You're going to make that an eight. I think I need to get a different pen. We're going to make that an eight. Oh, and that's then this, add that ten to your six, and it becomes sixteen. Can you now take nine from sixteen? That yeah. you can do. You yeah. can. Okay, so you can either count backwards or you can add up. So if I add it up, I'd put nine in my head. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. What's our answer? Seven. seven. Put seven down. Come over here. Oh, is the number on the top smaller? Nope, nope, it's not. So we can take three from eight. Again, you can count backwards or add up. We'll go ahead, we'll add up again. Put what in our heads? Three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's our answer? Five. And then go over to our hundreds. We know that we can take one away from two easy and we get one. Let's see if that's the right answer. Did we do it correct? 157. So those are the um, pages type we'll be doing. Um, if you're doing the, or for the second page, the challenge page, you're going to do page 511 and um, five through 514 for that. Let me clean the board here for you. Make sure you can write on it some more. There so we go. have a video for you real quick and then we're going to take a, um, a little bit of a break with a card game. Yeah. 
One, two, three, oh, four. Down and land somewhere. How many bald eagles are gliding through the air? Four minus two equals two. Three alligators are swimming in the lake. Two alligators go on the grass and take a break. How many alligators are swimming in the lake? One minus two equals one. Ten fast runners are running in a race. Five fast runners finish at record pace. How many fast runners are still running in the race? Ten minus five equals five. Eight bodybuilders are pumping up some weights. Five bodybuilders stop and take a break. How many bodybuilders are still pumping up some weights? Eight minus five equals three. Subtraction, action, this is how you play. Move your body and take away. When you subtract things, you get the difference. Let's do subtraction, move and have fun. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a cup. All right, so game time. Okay, let's have some fun. We learned about subtraction from Miss East and Mrs. Lopez, so we can also have some fun. One thing you can do is you can grab a deck of cards like these here. We're not doing a magic trick, but you're gonna take out, what ones are we gonna take out? We are going to take out of the deck. You will take the 10, the Jack, the king and the queen. You're going to set those aside because we're not going to use those today. Will we use the ace though? We will use the ace and the ace is going to represent one. One. We can do subtractions using cards. So this can be a lot more fun than always doing a worksheet. So let's have some fun. So Mrs. Lopez, I have a number six. And I have a number eight. And I have a number seven. Oh, we gotta find one that's small enough to go there. And I have a number three. Now, Mrs. Lopez or Mrs. East, I'm sure you know this. You know Mrs. East is awesome in math. If we took 68 minus 37, can we subtract that? Well, one, huh? We, oh, we yes, can, we can. Absolutely. But we have to the number on the top is not smaller than the bottom. Exactly, we have to check that all the time. That's really important. Okay, so if I was to take eight and I was subtract seven from that, this east, what would I have? One, uno. One. Uno, one. And then if I was to take six and subtract three from that, Miss East, what would I have? Three, I trace. I would have three, okay? So our answer is? 31. 31. Can we do this with three cards? We could. We could do it into the hundreds. Shall we, could. we try yeah, it? Let's try, let's try that. Oh, look. I've got something to erase all this with. My magic eraser works better than a real eraser for some reason. I don't know why. All right. All right. You ready for some more fun? Way better than a hand. Okay. We have the number seven. That's going to be our hundred spot. But you guys can actually decide if you want ahead of time, if you want to put it somewhere else. That's fine, too. Uh, okay, let's do the fives and the ones. Okay. All right. And then let's do the threes and the tens. So we have... Ooh, what's that number, you guys? Ooh, that is... It's got a seven, seven, a three, and a five. What number does that make? 735. That's right, because we have the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. Okay, let's do this again for the bottom numbers. Okay, so we have a two... And then we have a four. And I'm hoping that I can find something that'll be really good to go here. I think you should put the four in the 10 spot. Oh, we can. you're gonna have to regroup. Yep. Pull that one is that, is that okay? Cool? Yeah. Okay. All right, very important. Remember, this is the hundreds column, the tens, and the ones. So we have 242. Hey guys, where should you always start though? If right, I, should can you start I start here? right here? No. But can I start can't subtracting? But wait, I, I know I can take that from here. I don't want to do that. Why? No, it's going to mess you up. 
Oh, so always, remember, always start in the ones, ones. place. Okay. So we have five, and if we take two away from five, Mrs. East, what do we have? Three. 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 Oh, we forgot to separate our column. Oh, yeah, let's do that, just because we want to know. Make sure the big key to subtraction is make sure everything's lined up. That's a key. Okay, so I have three here, and I have four. Oh, my gosh, the number on top is, is smaller, smaller than, than the, the bottom. bottom. For the bottom. So what? go next door and what? Get one more. Get one, get more. one more. Regroup. More on the floor. Oh, more, more on the floor. Go get one more. So more on the top. Now you can stop. I like this that. This becomes one. a six, and this now becomes a thirteen. Okay, now we can do that. We have thirteen, and now we can actually take four away. Mrs. East got her hand up. What is it going to be? It's nine. It's nine. Write nine down. Hey, guys, remember. Um, well, my class, we talked about it. If this in subtraction. If this number on top is one smaller than the number on the bottom, no matter what it is, you're going to get nine. That's our nine rule. Oh, wow. That's mm -hmm. actually really good. Just remember yeah. so that. So it sounds like Mrs. East has talked about that. I've talked about it. Now, Mrs. Bachelier. I'm learning about it. You guys it. know about that. So what if I had then, um, let's see, I had seven minus eight. You Again. Couldn't, you couldn't do that. Well, sorry. 17 minus 8. Now you can do it. Now you could do it when you borrowed. So if you did that and, oh, look, this one's one less than the other. Well, let's make sure if our if that worked out. 8 you in your head. 8, 9, 10, 9, 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. If I had all the fingers there, we'd have 9 again. So just a trick to remember. And last one. And the last one, if we have 6 now. Can we subtract two from that, Mrs. East? Yes. Yes, we can. What do we get, Mrs. East? Four. Oh, wow. Now, this is important because remember again, you have to know that this is the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. So what is our magic number, Mrs. East? I don't know. 493. Very good. This is a, you can do this a lot of fun. Uh, we have some other ways that you can use your cards and have fun with it. But just practice your subtraction with a deck of cards. It's a lot of fun. And you can do that with your brothers and sisters. And if you're really good at it, you can be very smart. So there you go. And the last thing now, after you have finished your papers, uh, you can always do this later. But then for the rest of your math lesson today, you need to spend 20 minutes on GG. So do your um, GG for 20 minutes today. Not your math facts, just regular GG. Hey, can I add something? Yeah. So if you're already done with Gigi, I know I have two students that yeah, are I've done with Gigi. Challenge. Yeah. So then what you could do is go into IXL, and it's okay to go into third grade, and subtract three-digit numbers. That sounds like a good deal because I have some and I have some that too. are doing that too. Yeah. So if you're if so. you are finished with Gigi, I know mine. I think we'll see if you guys finish through challenge, but you can also do that. All right. Okay. Love math.